Let's now talk to a political analyst, Okpanobo Inko Taria, who joins us live from Abuja. The more you look, the less you see these days with some of these party developments. But what, in your opinion, uh, is um, the your assessment, rather, of the, P the APC's preparation ahead of its national convention? Okay, can you hear me, please? Yes, I can. Please go ahead. Okay, all right. Yes, um, well, um, there was this sense of dread and unease, you know, because um, the song we heard uh, that was quite loud was what I refer to as the non dimity you know, the song of death, the song of departure. APC members were playing havoc with the fortunes of the party. And this is as a result of uh, the macabre dance at the theater of ambition. Just like um, what happened in River State between the governor of River State and uh, the governor of Edo State. Presidential ambition led to the governor of River State uh, running invectives on the governor of Edo State, gratuitous invectives. The same thing happened or happened in the 80s. A lot of people maximized the minimum and minimized the maximum. Rather than putting the interest of the party first, what they did was to put their own personal interest. And you know, this is a party that is made up of different political parties. Different political parties melded into one to form the APC, principally to out the PDP. Wants to protect and project his own interest and no longer the interest of the party. And Bumi, who is the chairman of the party, was being accused of sinister plots, even sponsoring some uh, legal actions that will further procrastinate the national convention. And so there are these, there are these conflicting interests, and that has been responsible for the postponement of the convention beyond any reason, any, any, any uh, rational thing. That also led to the emergence of Bello as the acting chairman, because people lost confidence in Bumi. Fortunately, that would have, let me just say before I say fortunately, because that would have led to the nightmare, that's the, the death of the political party, because it would have contradicted all known laws. Einek had already said the convention is not known to it. Uh, absolutely, Mr. Taria. Precisely, precisely what do you think the APC must do differently now with concerns of purported litigation? You just mentioned Einek's concern about the leadership change and the number of days it must be given before holding a national convention. Uh, what do you think the party has to do ahead the March 26th date? This you should do. What the APC should do right now is simple, uh, just like what the president has said. Unfortunately, it was listless before now. But what the APC should do right now is allow Bumi to conduct the convention. Because there is this restriction, time frame. You know, you have just, you must give INEC 21 days. And meanwhile, the primaries will start from April, between April and June. So there is no time at all. You don't have the luxury of time to give INEC 21 days, even if you have to effect a change of leadership. So Bumi will have to go ahead with the conduct of the convention. Bumi and the National Secretary will have to go ahead with the conduct of the election. What the party should do is simple. I think they should all come together, put their heads together, to see how they can carry on after the convention, then whatever differences they have could be resolved. Because if they fail, to hold this convention come March 26, then APC will not be on the ballot. And if that will allow that to judge up our weekly reminiscence of what happened in River State and in Zafara State, I think so, in 2019. So if I have to advise the APC, APC will have to allow Bumi and the National Secretary to conduct the forthcoming National Convention. After which, whatever thing they have to do, it's a different thing altogether. But if should they fail to so do, then APC is out of the ballot going by the law. Because in the eyes of the law, it is Bumi that the national, the INEC knows. It is the Bumi that the law knows. Bumi does, the law does not know Bello. The law will not, 
recognize any other leadership. Apart Absolutely, from, Mr. Terry. So We're watching closely how this yes. development unfold. And just like you said, the party has a rich history, uh, bearing in mind what transpired in Zamfar and River State. Political analyst, Ponobo Inkotaria, thank you for talking to us tonight.